Wow. I, I can't lie. Now, it is crazy that this signing right here, this one actually hurt me. This was a painful one, man, because... <laughs> Gino, st look, man, I ain't mad at Gino, man. I get it. It's business, man. But this one is different, man, because Gino Stone, man, can, signing with the Bengals out of all teams in the signing with the Bengals. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. They just, they had franchise tag Jesse Bates a couple years ago, lost him to the Falcons. Um, they drafted Dax Hill, what was that, last year or the year before last? I forget exactly when they drafted Dax Hill. But um, Geno Stone now uh, looking to help the Bengals at the safety position. Oh, man, we get to see Geno Stone twice a year. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. It's like I, I love it and hate it all at the same time, man. But this is it's football and it's business, man. It's business. So, um, Geno Stone, man, wow. Uh, where do I start? Geno Stone was, what, a seventh-round pick for the Baltimore Ravens out of Iowa some years back. Baltimore Ravens cut him his rookie year. He went to the Texans, spent some time over there, got uh, let go from the Texans, and the Baltimore Ravens brought him back, and the rest has been history. This year, Geno Stone, the only thing in between Geno Stone and really showing how good he could possibly be was opportunity. That was it. Because he was with the Ravens, I believe, back when the Ravens had Earl Thomas. Uh, he was back with the Ravens when they, they signed Marcus Williams. So he's had good safeties that have just been in front of him on the depth chart, and that's it. And, and safeties that the Ravens paid a lot of money to in front of him on the depth chart. So that's the only reason why Geno Stone hadn't been out there earlier. And this year, um, similar to last year, but this year certainly uh, Marcus Williams, who the Ravens signed last year, or two years ago now because we're in the new offseason. Uh, but Marcus Williams, who the Baltimore Ravens signed, uh, he got hurt. He had a pec injury this year. So he was out, and Geno Stone was up. Geno Stone, he made the most of his opportunities. He was like, oh, I'm getting a chance this year? Oh, and this is a contract year for me? I'm getting ready to be a free agent? Watch this. What, seven interceptions later? Seven interceptions later? Geno Stone, I had personally um, wanted the Baltimore Ravens. Even when Marcus Williams got healthy, I wanted them to keep continuing to start Geno Stone at the free safety position because I'm one of them people that, hey, if it ain't fixed, I mean, if it ain't broken, don't try to fix it. And I felt like Geno Stone, it certainly wasn't broken when he was the safety for the Baltimore, the starting safety for the Baltimore Ravens because he just kept getting interception after interception after interception after interception. And he was just making plays all over, man. So I loved it. Um, but now he'll be trying to make plays for the Cincinnati Bengals against Lamar Jackson. Mm, that is going to be, oh, that's that just like, oh, it's like Ravens and Steelers rivalry. It's dropped off a whole lot. It's dropped off a ton. It is not nearly what it used to be, and it ain't even close. But the, the uh, rivalry that the Ravens have right now, in my opinion, I think it's definitely with the Cincinnati Bengals. It has just. It's just grown so much over the past couple of years, especially when it comes to the fan bases talking they trash to each other about each other's quarterbacks and this and that. But now with Geno Stone signing with the Cincinnati Bengals, this takes that rivalry up a notch. Geno Stone, wow, that is um, mm. I'm sure he's gonna do good, man. I I just I just know that he's gonna do good. I know he's gonna do well over there. Um, he is getting a oh a two year fifteen million dollar deal, so that's not even much money. Uh, that that's not even that much money. So he's signing for seven point five mil per, right? Yeah, seven point five mil per. That that's a great deal for the Bengals. That's an amazing deal for the Bengals. They getting Geno Stone, in my opinion, for very cheap. Oh man, that's, that's such a great deal for them. Um, and he said he gets a $6 million signing bonus. So, wow. Um, but, yeah, shout out to Geno Stone, man. I am um, not happy that he's a Bengal, but I am happy for him that he's getting a significant raise, a uh, significant pay raise. So that's always good. I, I love when people get their bread, and Geno Stone certainly going to get his. And I know Bengals, they definitely going to get their money's worth when it comes to Geno.